If you've been to the drugstore or grocery store, you probably ran into a problem trying to get several household items. As more people flock to the stores, many items you need flying off the shelves. Our Rochelle Turner went shopping today. Did you have any luck at all? No luck at all, Donna. Good evening to you. I went to three different stores and they were all out of necessity items that everyone needs like water, toilet paper, paper towels, hand soap, sanitizer, bleach, and bread. They were all gone. Empty shelves at stores are leaving people frustrated. I'm shopping for shit that they ain't got. The novel coronavirus loves shoppers like Cindy James scrambling for items Friday. There's no toilet paper, there's no paper towels, there's no Kleenex. There's very little napkins. People are just going to have to get them a Sears catalog and go on with it. Like the old days. We spotted empty shelves of water, paper towels, and produce at the Sam's Club on Bowman Road. James says people are doing the most when it comes to the virus. Are you scared, and scared to get? Are you scared to be out in public? I'm not. I live out in the woods, so hey, if they can make it out there and survive. Come on. A similar scene at Walmart. The medicine owl struggling. Items like bleach and soap gone. All that's left in the toilet paper owl are empty boxes. Nothing left at all. I actually was in Sam's on yesterday evening and I was going into a regular monthly thing going to get toilet paper and, toilet and, and paper towels. Only to find out there was none. Families walk down freezer owls looking for what's left. This is crazy. People say they're going to continue to take extra steps to protect themselves from COVID-19. I trust God and you know if it has a name it has to bow so uh, we want to take precautions but in the same instance you know you just want to be safe. And to add to the problem, the lines were long and the parking lot was packed. Workers say they are constantly restocking items. Back to you. All right, Rochelle, thank you.